Welcome to a healthy living video blog. Uh, this is episode number 67. You're watching us at workoutmaster.com. This is Ruben. This is Aaron. And uh, since we are on this uh, water roll right now, yep. uh, we want to talk about probably one of the most common things that you're going to see in your water supply, and that is chlorine. Uh, it is all over the place. Uh, it's uh, again considered to be safe and let's tear this one apart. Let's talk about chlorinated water. Chlorine is not safe. Once again, same thing with fluoride as our previous episode, you know, we stated chlorine is a nasty chemical that has harmful effects in our body regardless of how diluted or what a small quantity you add to it. Because chlorine is, is related to, to the destruction of the, of the lining of your stomach where a lot of your immune system resides it pretty much, you know, breaks down all kinds of enzymatic, you know, processes the body uses for digestion and, uh, and assimilation and elimination. And um, it will be nasty, it has a nasty side effect on our, uh, on our uh, endocrine system, our hormonal system. Absolutely. So by no means do uh, we condone the use of any chlorine anywhere in the planet. Well, I think it's good that we use chlorine to clear out the water supply. Well, to a degree, yes, but there's other, there's other uh, methods of, of cleaning but the water. That is a very important point. Right. They are more so, effective and, yes. and, and not harmful whatsoever. So let's say when they started using the chlorine, it was probably one of the most effective ones at that particular point of time. Right. Now, why do we have it right now in our water system? That's probably because somebody makes tons of money selling Dude, chlorine. Why, why, why don't we have you know still gasoline run cars outside when well, we can have electric and hydrogen? For sure. Well, There's a very serious interest, especially my interest, into producing certain things, specifically chemicals. Because the industry has been set for the past 50, 70 years, and then, you know, and, and if they're making billions, then I say, well, true. why reinvent the wheel? Because the, the wheel needs to be reinvented because so far for it sure. has only works. So the long. important thing about chlorine, you gotta understand, chlorine is there to kill a bacteria, and it's very efficient in killing. The problem with the chlorinated water is that it does not stop killing after you drink it, so it actually still kills stuff within you. Yes. Now, it's not only when you drink the water, it actually when you bathe in a water with a chlorine, it's still, your, your skin is an organ, so the chlorine gets inside of your body through your skin. Yes, it does. So you get affected in different ways, not only by drinking water, by taking the showers or swimming in the public pools. And I don't know how about you, sometimes if you, drink, you swim in this public pool that is just I don't know, it has more chlorine than water in it. Well, you, like you stink like a chlorine for days at a time. Yeah, because it's, it actually it feels like a viscous, you know, sticky material that, you know, like they stick I've viscous. done it a couple of times. I just try to avoid it as a I mean, I, like last thing I want to do is... Well, the only thing that you can do before you go to, you know, a chlorinated pool is just to pretty much lather yourself with coconut oil from head to toe. Mm -hmm. And if you need to do your laps or whatever, for whatever reason you go in the water, I happen to go in the water to actually work with a few of my clients that have some issues and they need to move from water because it's going to help them out. But uh, I know what I'm exposing myself to. So yes, I do that. I just put coconut oil. Do you oil put in coconut oil all over yourself before you go? It kind of creates like a very thin film, like a membrane that will prevent some of that, you know, chlorine, you know, am I picky like that? Am I anal to that degree? Yes, I am. <laughs> Alright guys, uh, there's a few ways you can avoid a chlorinated water. So number one is buying a chlorine uh, a remover filter mm -hmm. and just put it anywhere there's a water. So you can buy like a full house system mm -hmm. that's going to clean out the whole chlorine out of your whole house, out of your shower. It all depends where you live and how much money you would want to spend. Right. Yeah? So that if would, you, if that you, would run anywhere from two to $3,000. If you have a house, it is a good investment to invest into clearing up the whole water in your household. So it doesn't matter if you're washing dishes, taking shower, or sitting in jacuzzi, you're water. gonna have a chlorine-free water. Water in your plants? Water in your plants. Mm -hmm. uh, another thing that you can do is you can just buy a removable filter. So you can put a filter on your shower head, you can put a filter somewhere in your kitchen so you can drink a faucet, uh, those kind of things. One thing about chlorinated water, if it's just chlorinated, uh, if you live it outside, I don't remember exactly how much time, I think about 15 to 30 minutes, the chlorine tend to evaporate out of the water. 
on its own. Excellent. Good uh, so, so, so if you just leave the water on its own, let's say half an hour, I will have to uh, make sure how much time exactly. Uh, the chlorine just evaporates, so that's another way to clear up the water. Uh, and uh, we don't necessarily advise drinking bottled water, but we're going to do a next episode probably well, we about bottled water. We definitely have to do an episode on, on so bottled water because it is important to understand that it has you know its own tricks and stuff. For right now, just make sure you stay away from chlorine as much as possible. Uh, get a filter so you remove fluoride, as a previous episode mentioned, mm -hmm. and the chlorine. Uh, a less of this stuff coming inside and getting in contact with your body, uh, a better chances that you have uh, not having the, any health related challenge. Good. So for people who know, you can actually boil water and it will remove chlorine because it will evaporate, literally like you said mm -hmm. before. I didn't know that it was just standing still. I know that the, okay. the boiling will do that. But at the same time, when you boil in water, you're actually kind of uh, increasing the content per volume of the fluoride, so you have like a double edge there, which is not a good idea. However, like we have mentioned, it's very important that you get yourself a high quality filter. It could be whole house, it could be especially important for, you, uh, for your shower head because you absorb a lot of chlorine through your skin and all that water that's coming through you, about 60% of all the chlorine that comes out of the shower head is going to get filtered inside of your body and that's one thing that I recommend people not to uh, expose themselves because it creates all kinds of digestive problems, all kinds of you know, screen problems from eczema to urticaria to you know, dermatitis and the least exposure we have to it, the better. And uh, nonetheless, you know, make sure that the water that you drink comes from a natural clean source. Sometimes we don't have access so we have to rely on tap water so that's why it's you know, of utmost important that you buy yourself a good quality reverse osmosis filter that can probably put out about five to six gallons of water of, for drinking purposes a day, which most people will not consume even if they try. Because with all the cooking that you can do, even when I'm you know cooking up a, a fest, you will not go through five gallons of water. So it's is a good you know it's a good rule of measure to have a faucet for the for the kitchen, a shower head filter at the very least and a reverse osmosis for creating good drinking quality water. And be aware that you still will get in contact with the chlorinated water outside of your house. Of course. So the minute you, you go just, to a pool you're just or shower. minimizing stuff at your yeah. yeah. Do you have anything else? I think that will pretty much sum it up. But uh, very important to let you know to please you know preview and look in, in detail at the information that we created in our previous episode about fluorinated water and the one after this one that we will be uh, pretty much completing pretty soon today or tomorrow mm -hmm. and it will be in regards to bottled water and what are some of the uh, hidden uh, secrets that, uh, that the industry in bottled water has up their sleeve that do not do you any good at all however you know they sell you that this water has been you know clean pristine healthy and it is not by the most part okay uh, thank you very much for watching guys your future looks better already and we'll see you next time